to your room. Stop talking to me like I'm a child. I'm calling Sister Judith tomorrow. We're going to have a conversation about your future in this house. Besides, I can't do it. I just, I can't do it anymore. Fine. Esther. My name is Dr. Varva. I'm calling from the Sarn Institute. Oh. I've just seen the picture you emailed to us. And you recognize her? Where is she right now? Is she someplace where she can hear you? No, she's not with me. She's with my husband at home. Call your husband right now. And tell him to get your family out of the house. And then call the police. He won't listen to me. But, but why? Then tell him the little girl in the picture is not really a little girl. She's a grown woman. What? What are you talking about? The picture that I sent you is of our adopted daughter, and she's nine years old. No, she's not. She has a rare hormone disorder. It's called hypopituitarism. It causes proportional dwarfism. She only looks like a child. According to our records, Lena Klammer was born in 1976. She's 33 years old. This can't be. This is a mistake. I hope so, for your sake. Does she have the scars? What? I don't know. What scars? Lena was one of our most violent patients. When she was here, she was kept in a straight jacket to stop her from hurting our staff. But she was constantly fighting to get out of it. It got into her skin and left her with scars around her wrists and neck. <sighs> there is no way you could not have seen them. Why was she at your hospital? She's dangerously ill. Violent. She killed seven people that we know of. Oh, my God. How could she fool us? She's been passing herself off as a little girl for most of her life. She tricked the family here in Estonia into adopting her. When she couldn't seduce the father, she killed him and his whole family. Then she burned the house down. Yes. How did you know? She disappeared a year ago, and we lost track of her. If it's really Nina, you don't have much time. Yeah! <laughs> 